Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to use a bait caster. Uh, tension knob over here. I'm going to tighten it down all the way. Your brake over here. It needs to be off. As you can tell, when you press the button, the bait's not going to fall. But, Take the knob on the side. Take it when you turn it all the way off. Turn it about halfway. Press your button. Keep your finger. Or turn that tension off until your bait barely starts to fall. Turn it up. Sometimes it needs a little more adjusting. Try it one more time. One more. Now, when you make a cast, you ain't got a hold of that close. Make a cast, just, you don't want to whip it out there. You want to use your thumb to feather the line when it's coming out. So you don't get any overruns or backlashes. I'll try it without my thumb on it. No overrun. No backlash. And a big stuck in the bush. Okay, now it's off. Dude, when you're dude, when y'all are practicing this outside, use like a practice weight you get at Bass Pro Shop. Um Cabela's. Academy Sports probably got them. Uh, you don't have any of those or can't get any of those. Put a nut on the end of your line. Just throw it out. Make sure you don't hit any windows on your house or vehicles or that can get expensive. Uh, let's try to get a backlash or an overrun. I'll adjust the knob down some more. Overrun. If you don't watch out, these overruns will start to get a bird's nest in them, kind of like this one is. Quickest way I found how to do that: put your thumb on a reel, tighten your tension knob. I mean, your star drag all the way down. Do that. It may take one or two times. But it does come out, trust me guys. Whoop. There's that one right there. You can usually pull your line and find out which one it's tangled on. And don't get discouraged guys, I mean, because you're going to get backlashes no matter what when you first start out. Trust me, when I started out, I was doing this a lot. But once you get your line and everything straightened out, and all the knots and everything out of it, and you practice more and more and more with your bait caster the least you'll get backlashes the only thing I'm doing is trying to get the line even 
again, which now it is. Back lashes are a lot easier to get out on monofilament, fluorocarbon, lines, than they are on braid. Trust me guys, braids are a pain in the butt to get back lashes out of. The only thing I'm using here is a rod that I started out with. It's a combo. It's the Black Max by Abu Garcia rod and the Abu Garcia Black Max reel. Uh, six four to one. Easy to use. Great for anybody that's starting out. So guys, you can feather the line with your thumb. What I mean by feathering it, I mean by barely applying pressure to that reel. So when it does start to overspool on you or get an overrun, you'll feel it and you can apply a little pressure to stop it. But uh, easiest way I've learned to throw a bait caster right now, just starting out, would be sidearm. And you don't want to whip it out there or throw it like you're throwing a baseball sidearm. It's just going to be. Starting up, you're out there in the front yard, you back yard. Now, like I am out here in the front, just throw it. I mean, it's winter right now, but as you can tell, I'm, it's like 53 out here. It's getting that bad. Small little backlash. Guys, I'm not saying once you get great at throwing a bait cast, you're not going to get backlashes. I know plenty of guys that have been using them for a while, they still get backlashes. Um, the more you learn. On your bait caster, the more you'll be free spooling it, which is where your tension knob is all the way loosened up. You can throw it, you need to feather the line. Pull it. It's not a fill of bait caster, guys. Get out there, try it. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe. Thanks for watching.